everyone and welcome back to my Korea vlog part 2. I'm sorry this took so long because I was not in the condition to make any vlog. Well, finally some lights in the airport. I arrived when it was dark and nobody was there. Even the workers weren't there. Well, it's my flight to Jeju and it's the first time, of course, because yeah, I've never been to Jeju before. I heard you don't need any visa for Jeju if you come directly to Jeju. Well, hello Jeju Island. What a beautiful sky you have. The airport is nice. It's not too big and not too small. But more importantly, I can't stop myself from filming this. It's a commercial, a CF for Jeju Xinhua World, which I didn't go to because I never heard of it before and I didn't plan to. But well, we must get going. And I'm going to the rental car which I rented and also the driver speaks English so well so I don't need much Korean here and the first destination here is Manjango Lava Cave the cave is dark, it's underground and I really don't know what to film because it's really dark you can barely see anything but it's pretty nice and the next destination we're going to is the mountain i forgot the name of the mountain but it was closed due to the heavy snow i was supposed to see and climb the mountain but instead i went to the traditional market nearby the traditional market contains a lot of food and jeju specialty like these stones chocolates jeju orange choco pie this one is really delicious I really recommend you trying it because I don't really like choco pies but eating this Jeju orange choco pie is mm, I feel like it's better and of course you can go to Jeju Island without seeing the sea and the barley which is like the icon of Jeju Island and although it seems like I'm just strolling through a nearby park by the neighborhood it's all not free okay everything here you must pay even entering this park I have to pay so you need to bring quite some money to Korea if you're planning to go and there's an amazing sky and barley field there a uh, literally filled full of barley a field literally full of barley up close it's so beautiful it's perfect for photo shoot and just memories i've took some pictures there if you haven't seen it go to my ig instagram please follow if you haven't followed me and you can see tra traditional houses bridges all over jeju this one is just a bridge so it doesn't require you to pay but we're going to another waterfall the first waterfall actually this is also paid see the flowers and the lake of winter it's not frozen it's not as cold as you think it is but it's still cold and this is Dol Harubang the one I talk about it's the icon of Jeju too it's a stone that looked like a person but it's like that you can see it's not really like a person but yeah it's like that <laughs> this is a small waterfall and it's not the waterfall I'm talking about this is the waterfall I mean it's not too big not too small and I don't really think it's beautiful but we're we're going to see another waterfall after this so I'm hoping to see a better one this is when I take a picture and when you don't know what to do the art of stacking stones I heard about this in the movies or books or so if you stack seven stones any size any shapes well you will be lucky or maybe you are lucky just like that going back from this waterfall and after this, we are going to the Jongbang waterfall, which is bigger and better, I heard. Well, it's 
really far farther than the one before you see almost there we're almost there and now I'm here it's the big waterfall it's really big and it's hard to get the lightning right here so cope with it okay the sea is also beautiful the water is so blue dark blue even though it's near us just seen the sea divers and nature republic republic i'm sorry republic exo shumin doni burger i'm just admiring how there's a lot of artists here crowded jeju airport i was delayed for four hours and finally boarding now it's really annoying you know back to myeongdong i eat chicken duck galbi and also i played orakshil which is the arcade it's small it's on the second floor of a supermarket but it's enough to make me happy because i get to see what korean people are are playing and of course pump it up if you don't know that i love to play it well you should know this is the korean like souvenirs full of k-pop posters keychains games cards and everything the next day i'm going to the national museum of korea well not exactly the national museum i'm going to the national palace but first to know what's going on in here i'm going to the national museum first national palace museum of korea i'm now inside the museum is really huge it has three or four floors and you can see it for free just the museum and you in here you can see all the tradition the history the kings the seals the statues every single thing that you have seen in the movies or maybe if you don't see the movies, at least you have heard of it. Even the furniture is like a matching color. It's like red, red, brown, brown, red, red, like that. And of course, the traditional clothes of Korean people, which is hanbok. It looks like that and this. And the accessory for women back in the day. It's beautiful, but I'm not sure what it's used for because I'm too lazy to read. I'm just seeing all the things, but I'm not reading the description. Just too lazy for it. Admiring. And wow, this is the miniature of like Korean food, traditional food like bibimbap, jajangmyeon. Well, no, 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 jajangmyeon is Chinese. Chinese food, I'm sorry. <laughs> Get stamps for free. And more of the museum. This is another floor. You can see how the battle works in the Shilla dynasty or so. It's beautiful, but I... I really want to touch it. Like, But you can't because there's glass covering it, of course. And this is the gift shop down at the museum. And then we have done sightseeing the museum. So we are going to the National Palace. This one is actually free if you just want to see the outside. But I'm still play, not playing, but paying to get inside more and more of the National Palace. It takes a long time for you to travel all over the palace. It requires more than a day and stamina because I was really tired at the end of the day and it makes me feel like oh my god I just wasted my money to buy the whole pass wow and that's all I have for part two 
See you on the part three of my vlog. Thank you.